Hello, welcome to another episode of Elephant English Podcast. In today's video, we're going to be following some speaking exam questions about clothing and fashion, and I'm going to be answering these questions so that it can help you practice for your speaking exam. The first question is, do you like shoes? No, I'm not really keen on shoes. When I have to buy a pair of shoes, then I do, but it's not something that I get excited about buying. The next question is, how often do you buy shoes? Well, I don't really buy shoes often because my favourite type of shoes are Doc Martens. They're military style boots and they are known for being quite long lasting. So that means that I don't have to buy a pair of boots every year. The ones that I have at the minute have lasted me five years. So that's the reason why I don't buy boots often and when it comes to sandals and summer shoes I don't really use them that much so they don't wear down quickly so I might have to buy them every two years. The next question is do you prefer comfortable or good looking shoes? I prefer wearing comfortable shoes because I'm on my feet most of the day and I don't really like wearing high heels and those types of shoes. I think that they're really uncomfortable and it's not worth it. Especially because you wear high heels when you're going to an event like a wedding and you have to walk around a lot and spend a lot of time standing up and when you get home your feet really hurt. The next question is, have you ever bought shoes online? Yes, I have bought shoes online but I knew what shoe size to get for that specific brand. I wouldn't really recommend buying shoes online if you have never bought a pair of shoes of that brand, but if you have already had three pairs of the similar type of shoe, then it's not a big deal to buy them online because you know what your shoe size is going to be. Also, if you do have any problems, then you can always send the shoes back I have never had to do that but I know that some of my friends have done and they haven't had any issues with it at all. In the next part I have to describe a dress or shirt that I wore for a special occasion. I have to mention what it is like, when and where I bought it, what special occasion I wore it for and I have to explain how it made you feel wearing it. Well, one of the nicest outfits that I have ever worn was a baby pink dress that I wore to a wedding. It was quite a simple pink dress, but it came with a very nice silver belt and it looked really nice on. I wore some silver jewellery on that day as well so it went with the belt and it looked really pretty. I bought it at a small shop in my city. It is one of those shops where you walk in and there's only one of each style and colour. So it's quite good because you know that when you're going to go to the wedding there isn't going to be someone with the same dress as you. Well, they might have bought it in another shop, but it would be very unlucky if that happened. I didn't want to go to the wedding and see that somebody was wearing the exact same dress because it's a bit awkward for you and for them and it looks quite funny in the photos. When I was wearing that dress, I felt quite pretty and special. It's nice when you go to a wedding and you dress up and put makeup on because 
you're not wearing the same clothes that you do every day when you go to work and it makes you feel special. The next question is, what do you think the clothes we wear say about us? Well, I think that the clothes that we wear reflect our personality. I was having a conversation about this with my mum the other day because she was saying that back in the 80s, if you liked a certain type of music, then you would wear a certain type of clothing. So in the playground, a school, for example, you would know what type of music a group of children listened to because of the clothes that they were wearing. And my mum was saying that it doesn't really happen nowadays. I think that it doesn't happen so much, but you still have groups of teenagers who have more of a gothic style and others who wear more pastel colours. But it is true that we don't really see that many different styles as before. I still think that it does reflect your personality a little bit because... Some people wear more informal clothing, whereas others wear more formal clothing and more jewellery and things like that. You mustn't judge anybody by the clothes that they're wearing, but it is true that clothes do reflect a little bit of our personality. The next question is, do you think that brand names are very important for clothes sales? Yes, I do. At the moment, I would say that the most popular brands are Nike and Adidas. At least for young people. I think that, especially with teenagers, when they see that their friends are wearing a particular brand, then they are going to copy their friends because they feel like they might be left out if they don't wear it. Especially now with social media, it seems that fashions uh, spread quite quickly because you can see what the influencers are wearing and suddenly everybody is wearing what they are. And this is good for brands really because they can sponsor the influencers on Instagram or YouTube or TikTok and then all of the teenagers or young people are going to copy what they're wearing. So this is why I think that brand names are very important for clothes sales. The next question is why do some people like to go clothes shopping with friends? I think that when you're young, you like to go clothes shopping with friends because normally you have quite a similar style to them. Your parents normally drop you off at the shopping centre and you spend two hours just looking around the shops and you go for an ice cream or go to the cinema. So I think it's just a fun thing to do on a Friday evening or Saturday evening with friends because at that age, the majority of people like doing that. So it's just something to do. Especially when you're that age because everybody seems to be doing the same thing and when you go to the shopping centre, at least in, in England, you see people from your school or from your class and it's a social event. The next question is, how do you think fashion will change in the future? I'm not really sure how fashion will change in the future. If you think about it, fashion repeats itself. Sometimes I see a nice blouse or some nice trousers and say to my mum, oh, look at this new style. And she says, no, that isn't a new style. I used to wear that when I was 25, for example. So what might happen is that we just continue reusing the same styles but with just small variations. Really, if you think about it, it would be good 
if fashion doesn't change much, especially if we think about protecting the planet, because when there are more fashion trends, then people tend to buy those fashion items and they're only in fashion for about a year or two. So when that trend is finished, then they have to buy new clothing and that isn't good for the planet at all. So maybe fashion will become more timeless and that way we wouldn't have to keep buying so many clothes. Although when I think about it, I don't think that will happen because then the companies wouldn't sell so many clothes. So in today's video, we have talked about clothing and fashion. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I make a lot of these videos about different topics. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.